Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about four color affinity in modern. So this card is very pricey. This deck is very pricey. It looks like on online it's almost 400 tickets and then on paper it's over $715. Yeah, this deck is not cheap. It is four color affinity. So what are the colors you might ask? It looks like it's uh, black, red, Looks like it's Grixis plus some other color, which I'm not aware of. Um, it, it's very good, actually. I'm looking at the stats on this deck. It looks like it wins a tremendous amount. So we start with three Memnonites, four Ornthopters. Again, the whole deck list will be in the comments below and maybe just in the comments. Four Signal Pest, four Orcbound Ravengers, and that's where most of your money coming from. That place that will cost will set you back 175 bucks. What can you do, right? That's, that's a pricey card. Uh, free Steel Overseers, those are about 10 bucks a piece. Four Vault Scourge, free Edge Champions. Edge Champions, get them now because they apparently are like $3 and that's pretty good for them. Uh, yes, there's a reprint, but still. Uh, one Masters of Ephiradium, that's a good card. Four Mox Opals, again, that's gonna be your $141. So between your Mox Opal and your Arcbound Ravenger, that's most of your money, and then your four Ink Moth Nexuses. That's where the majority of the money's coming from. And one Welding Jar, two Gravonic Bat Blast, four Spring Leaf Drum, four Cranial Platings. I love them in the foil as a speculation, they're so good. Uh, three Thought Cast, four Blink Moth Nexus, four Dark Steel Citadels, Free Glimmer Void, so that's kind of pricey too. That's 70 bucks for three of them. Four Ink Moth Nexus, that's around 100 bucks for four. An Island, and then your um, sideboard is also kind of pricey because you got uh, Blood Moon. Blood Moon is 85 bucks for two of them, huh? One Wear and Tear, a two Relic of Progenesis, two Stubborn Denial, two Thought Seas, so that's kind of pricey too. Two Spouse Guy, that's pricey. Two Whip Flare, uh, two Blood Moons, two Gibpoff Afer Grid, and those are the cards that you will be playing. You will be paying out of the nose for. Against Amulet Bloom, it is greatly favored at sixty four point seven one percent. Again, I'll have the uh, information below. RG Tron, it is favored. Merfolk and John slightly favored. Absent Infect and Splinter Twin not favored. Splinter Twin, it is greatly unfavored. It's going to win about 36.84% of the matches, mainly because it doesn't just disrupt what Splinter Twin wants to do. The deck, in my opinion, is a very safe deck to invest in right now because most of your cards that you're investing in, they've already been reprinted. Uh, yes, it is $715, but I've always said this. If you view Magic as a hobby, then this is a deck that's not gonna go away. This deck will be a tier one deck. It will be a very strong deck and I don't see it. I don't see the deck ever um, becoming, dropping out of tier one and I only see the deck getting stronger in time. So I like the deck. Uh, it is pricey at $715, but hey, you, I mean, it's $715 right now. I think for the decks, I'm gonna put the price in front of the deck just so we can kind of see where the price goes, especially in standard. But uh, even more so in modern, it would be kind of fun to look at the price. Bye, guys.